This is Mr. Hegseth's class for pottery and ceramics, and we're going to be working on the mug. And we take this, pause. So what we do is we take this needle and go like this. Now look how I score this. We start it this way. Then you crisscross. You don't want to cut it. If you cut it, Cutting compresses. You want to rip into this clay. This needle allows a ripping motion. If you cut it with stuff like this, all it does is slice it. You don't want it compressed. Okay. You want it. You want it cut and made into nice little pieces. Okay. You turn it over. Notice that this is sprayed. You want this sprayed so it doesn't take any moisture out of your out of your clay and also so that it doesn't stick. Pause. Okay. Pause. Okay, the next thing we do is we get the white slip. fingers. This stuff right here, nice and clean the clay. And this stuff right here. Okay. Then you take it up like this. Be careful not to indent it. And indent your walls. Come like this. Hook it in like this. Okay. You squeeze this together. You start to introduce and marry the walls. Just like that. crossing then blending okay same thing here same thing here watch how it separates make sure that it doesn't separate going to go down you need to make sure that you put enough clay back into it so take a little bit of clay put it back into this make it flat just like that keep this nice and protect this protect this edge this is the mug portion okay and you're going to adjust these things as you go oops okay then on the inside, do the same thing. You gotta dig it into there. You see that okay? Dig, 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 dig. Dig, dig, dig. And what you're doing is you're introducing and marrying both sides. issue right here I'm going to turn it this side right here let's go ahead do the same thing here Remember, it's going to happen in there, so take a little bit of clay, put it into there. Move this into here. Take your finger. 
here, whatever. See how smooth that is? Turn it over like this, make sure you can see it. Just make sure that it's married good. You can never have enough scratches. And if there's little indents and stuff like this, just go ahead and take it like this. Put more clay into there, fill in those scratches if that's what it needs, then do it. 